doing the dreaded transition i got some crazy stories and an art project for you out there that are on lockdown what's good everybody it's carpet mike here from carpetexpertblueprint.com and we are doing the transition wrapping around three sides of the foyer here so first things first you set the main shot you do a mean 45 on that one then you set the second shot making sure your 45 is lining up on it and then work the nails all the way down making sure it's nice and secure to the floor then we go over to the third angle here same exact scenario cut a beast of a 45 butt it up to the other metal nail it down we're going to start on one side we're going to go ahead and trim and tuck all that in take your blade slice it off at the top take your hammer beat it down then we're going to wrap around to the front here trim and tuck trim and tuck tap 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 everything's good then we're going to wrap around the side and then once all that's set we're going to blast away from all these stretching the whole room nice and tight and everything's going to be great let's get into this art project here for all my brothers on lockdown right now so if you're stuck in the house you can't get out and go to work but you got a lot of razor blades. I bet your kids got some Elmer's glue. Let's go ahead and make a nice, happy, pretty flower out of your leftover razor blades. Line them up, get a good idea of where you want everything to be. Oh, that looks just so nice right there. That, right about there, that's what we'll do. Now we need to go ahead and get out our butter once we get these lined up, making sure we got our flower all nice and pretty. That's what we're making today for our loved ones. We're going to make a nice razor blade flower because we're creative people. We're not just carpet and flooring installers. We are creatives that make up random designs with our razor blades, glue them to paper like we're 10 years old, and hand it in for proofreading. Now, we all know our loved ones are going to be like, seriously, this is what you got me. But hey, if you got nothing else going on, this is your go-to for the day. Do not hurt yourself doing this. And while you're getting a visual on how to build a beautiful razor blade flower for a gift for the holiday, do not do anything that's going to cause you to get stitches and have to go to the hospital. But listen to this story here because this is straight up crazy. So my buddy owns a bunch of properties down the hood here in Cleveland, right? So he shows up on one of them and the window's busted out. My dude, he packs, he's got his banger on him. So he pulls it out, goes in the house. He knows something ain't right. So he's traveling through the house all nice and slow, getting ready, turns the corner to go upstairs. And as his pistol is leading him, dude peeks around the corner to be met right in the face with his gun. He takes him down and three of his other buddies at gunpoint. Obviously, nobody gets hurt, but he, hey, everybody on the ground, you're in the wrong house, homie. Calls the police. Mad squad cars show up, right? Crazy amount of squad cars. So I'm in a group text with this guy and two other investors. We basically hit each other up on what we're buying that day, what we could uh, invest in, and everybody just looks out for each other, making sure we're increasing our net worth. So he hits us all up. Well, gentlemen, it finally happened today. I actually caught somebody in the act and took down four dudes. And we're like, what? are you okay da, 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 da. like dude you never catch the person in the act breaking into one of your investment properties so cops show up they take all these dudes down we're like you know make sure dude's okay and all that about an hour goes by he's like you won't believe this they are letting these dudes go right now because of the virus going around and it is not worth it to uh, bring them into the system they're only locking up violent offenders and since they were unarmed they're not violent so they got to go now i'm sure they took their record down and if you do anything again this will get brought up as well but i found that to be absolutely insane for two reasons one word is out you can get away with some thugging right now in this current marketplace and nothing's going to happen to you apparently in cleveland which is absolutely absurd because cleveland you know we're an underdog but people get rowdy around here next my dude who is a great dude in my opinion has a target on his back right now because law enforcement wouldn't take in four people that he took down single-handedly with a gun so if these dudes are like low-level gangsters you know they're gonna want to get revenge i'm like yo this is bad on so many levels so dude not cool for the legal system right now i just got to share that story but i hope you are not dealing with that in your area so Wherever you're based at, I hope you're staying safe, stay secure, watch out for your family, don't get involved in any situations that could get you hurt, and make a happy razor blade flower for the holiday. Go ahead and comment below, man. I hope everybody's safe and good, and I'll see you on the next video.